Hey guys, it's been a while. The weather has been absolutely nuts out here. It, uh, it's like 80 degrees and then it snows. So I've just kept this guy in storage. Got it washed the other day. We're gonna be taking a Chicago trip. Gonna go boondock at a public place downtown in Chicago. So I'll do a separate video for that. I just wanted to do a quick update and kind of tell you what I'm gonna be doing this summer or pretty soon. Um, just some upgrades and modifications. Um, I'm either gonna replace this front windshield or I've got a crack right here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna see if I can either get that filled in or replaced, not real sure which. <clears throat> Inside here, um, when I push the vent, <clears throat> push the vent button to go from here or the dash or some of the other places, I can hear the flapper arm move, but it doesn't seem like the air changes that much. much. And so my uh, twin brother, he ended up um, making this unit. I think I still got it in here. <clears throat> here it is. That I can throw on top of there and just get some air uh, to me. Um, I can run the air conditioner um, while we're driving down the road, so it's not that big of a deal, but um, yeah, Facebook people were speechless uh, on how stupid it looked, but um, function over form sometimes. So at any rate, I think I'm gonna rip this open and see if the arm is moving and it's loose or if something's wrong with the flapper, um, but something's wrong in there. The other is the rear view camera. So if I turn on the camera, you can see that's, that's a problem. So I think my camera's finally gone. Um, if you go back and look at it, I think there are old, it's like a, the old um, um, cable line. And I found some new color cameras that still, that work on it, they're expensive. So at any rate, I think I've got to open up the very back of this and rip that out. See if I can get a new camera in it that's color, that's got a bigger field of view and uh, try to get that working. If not, I'm gonna have to replace it with new. And the new ones are wireless, but there's just too much from the back to the front, probably to get a good signal and not sure how to power it. So that one's gonna be a monkey. Um, the other one is my awning sensor. <clears throat> I think found out up on top, um, must have come in, it was probably when I was going in Chicago, hit a tree or something and it knocked that sensor for the, uh, the wind sensor for the awning off. So kind of buy one of those, put a new one on and uh, get it to work. Um, the other one is, there's a Schrader valve back here. Every time we stop at the rest area, I kind of do a walk around and found out, heard some air leaking and this valve right here was leaking so i took one of the uh, caps off and stuck it on it so it's holding there but i'm going to fix it and make it right so that's that's probably going to be a mess take all that apart um the other is there's some trim there's a couple pieces coming off um like this, it's just glued on. I think it's just age, but I'm gonna go around and make sure everything is uh, glued right. I wanna try to figure out what they used before. Um, held this long, it should hold a lot longer. The other is, I think I like the white. You know, if it's starting to come off, do I take it off and uh, put chrome on there? I'm not real sure. Um, give me a comment on, on what you think. The other is the uh, start batteries. So went to start it this winter um, for a trip and they wouldn't uh, start. Um, 
I don't think they were holding the charge very well in the winter. They're working fine here in the summer or in the, the heated months, I guess you could call it. But there's quite a few of them back there. There's four. So I just went ahead and bought new ones. Let me get this opened up and show you. So I took the cover off, but there's four batteries in there and I've got them sitting in the garage, the replacement. Those are from 12, 17. So they're three, what, four, five, going on six years old and they're lead acid. So they're, it's probably about time anyway. Um, and then I've got the uh, Victron charger. I'm gonna replace this one. That one's 50 watts. Uh, I just don't think it's enough to, to, if there's a load on them, to keep it charged and do the load. So I'm gonna put the Victron charger in there um, and then replace those batteries. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is uh, this mirror up here. When I'm driving down the road, it vibrates a little bit. There's something loose inside. And so I wanna take this apart and see if I need to replace it or fix it. It's Velcroed on. I don't know if you can see inside of there or not. I can't get the Velcro to release and uh, we're getting ready to leave today. So I don't want to rip it apart. I'm going to not have a mirror. So I don't know. I'm going to, if anybody knows how to take that apart without screwing it up, let me know. I think the intent was that you just pull it, but that Velcro, it's not releasing and I don't want to cause a bigger problem. Um, but uh, I'd like to get that fixed. Um, when I'm going down the road, it it does one of these deals and it's hard to see. The other, so these front airbags, um, when I put it in storage, this one had dropped. So I was afraid it was the airbag and I think it's just all the hoses. So I went, I bought two new airbags and so I've got them sitting in the garage because I thought I'd need them, but it holds air. So I think it's probably a, uh, a valve somewhere. So I'm going to go through the accessory air and see if I can find that. <clears throat> the other is my whole inverter and entertainment bay. I just pulled the TV out last night, so it's a mess. Um, but I want to I want to make this look better. I had the TV and the speakers in here and I just, I end up turning the bypass on and off so much. It's nice to have access and I think it just makes for a cleaner bay. I want to clean this out, maybe hide some of that, make it look better. But uh, I got some options for this. I want to show you what I've done in the past. So this is inside my house, but this used to be a wall. And so I ended up building everything. I built the wall out, put the fireplace, the TV, built all that, did the masonry. So I'm capable of doing stuff, I guess you could say. I'll show you some more furniture type stuff. So I've also, I built this hutch. Um, so I threw that together uh, quite a few years ago now, but I like fine woodworking, uh, like cherry. I also did our downstairs. This isn't done yet. I'm doing like a little kitchenette. I just got it framed out. Need to put a countertop on, a shelf, um, doors and drawers. But I put the floor in. This basement got a flood, so that was part of the reason I haven't done much. But uh, this was a wall as well. So I put the stone in there, the fireplace, the mantle, the TV. Um, I've done the wood floor, all of the base. Um, I've built two homes, so I'm not scared of doing anything. I guess I show you all of that just to, you know, it's not like I, I just use two by fours for construction. I just showed you all of that to, you know, just show I, I can build some stuff. But I guess my thought is, I'm gonna get the TV and the speakers out of here. Um, Paul with uh, Prevo and Barbecue, he showed me some pictures and it's kind of helped me out a little bit. But I think what I wanna do is get an arm that will attach here. I'm gonna push this back and I'll have my TV set up front. And I think I'm getting rid of the, the big speakers and all of that. I think I'm just gonna go with a nice sound bar. Maybe, I'm not real sure if I want this, 
this direction or turn it, but I want to put an arm on front for the TV so that when you open this, you look at the TV. And I saw some pictures where you could fold the TV out and you'd have access to like a mini fridge or a freezer. Um, I can also pull this out all the way to here so that I've got a safe distance from the coach for the grill. And I don't even know what to put on there. I ju it's just extra room. I think I'm gonna mount um, this ladder to the inside, get it out of the way. And I might put that tub um, in here. But I guess all that to say, I'm trying to figure out, I think I want, I think I want it so that when you open this up, it looks nice and you see just the TV and sound bar. And if without pulling this out, you could swing the TV, maybe have access to some drinks. And then if you pulled this out, I think what I'd like is access to the grill. Um, I've also got these rollers, so I could pull it this way away from the fridge and the TV. Um, so trying to, trying to figure out what to do. Um, we had a trip planned to uh, the Smokies, so I just I just threw this together as quick as I could so we could get on the road uh, after I rewired the whole coach. Um, so far, so good with the rewiring. Everything everything works real good. It's kind of scary that everything works well. So I've got uh, 3,000 watt to each panel. Um, I've got the servo unit. I've got the um, the battery smart shunt. I ended up using this for my cables and I didn't really use it exactly as shown. I thought this was a good way to do, put the shunt in here. So this is on the negative side. The positive side goes to the battery and this is the negative where it connects in. Um, Pre-wired some data cables that come up into here because once you plug something into here you can't can't hardly get it out so I kind of rewired it but I did the best I could with it um, it's like if if Marathon saw it they'd uh, they'd fire me but um, it works and it works real well so I think I'm, I want to try to make it it look nice somehow and this over here and I think I want to use cherry just to go with the rest of the cherry in here. Um, I think it'd look nice. So just an update, what I've got planned here, some future videos. Like I said, we're going to be basically boondocking in Chicago this weekend. Uh, daughter's got dance and the niece has got a birthday. And then I'm going to do that window crack the front air vent, the camera, the awning sensor, that Schrader valve, glue or replace the trim, um, replace the start batteries, maybe something with that passenger mirror. I'm not real sure. I might be trying to fix a fix that and spending a thousand dollars on a mirror. I don't know. Um, the airbags or the air. I'm gonna try that. The other, the tires. I think these are. 17 so they're five years old so i think i'm going to try to drive um, this summer on them uh, then replace them probably uh, next year after the winter um, the back tires i think are uh, 18 or 19 so they got some more years on them so the rest of it knock on wood has been doing really well i want to try to figure out how to clean it my water is really hard so i get water spots but um, looks a lot better than it did so thanks for uh watching subscribing leave me a comment um we'll uh we'll see you next time